MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. The Eagle V range from APS Ingersoll, they call them high speed machining centres. Are they really high speed? Yes, they are. So we have a HSK E40 spindle, 42,000 RPM in the V5 machine. But it's more than that, it's more about the dynamic of the machine with the control, which we can talk about later. The dynamic means we have a static mass on the bottom and a constant moving mass on the top. And this ratio is seven to one. That's seven tons on the bottom to one ton on the upper head. I notice it's a trunnion five axis machine, but why is the component so low? So the, the way the machine's being configured, most uh, machine tool manufacturers would put the fourth and fifth axis on top of the table. What we've done here is we've actually put the fourth and fifth axis under where the three axis table would be or could be if the customer had it as an option to give a far greater reach. So we're able to cut minus 120 plus 60 degree. Plus a, a larger z-axis presumably. Yes, that's right. It gives you the ability to save having to move into what we might see as maybe the next size machine tool. So what's the largest component we can fit on the V5? So on the three axis table, it's 500 kg. On the fourth and fifth axis, we can load 250 kg with a diameter of 400 millimeters. 400 mil, that's quite a large capacity for a small footprint, isn't it? That's right. It just saves us get, having to move up into that next size machine tool to give the, the customer the maximum amount of flexibility he can for his investment. And we're machining graphite today, presumably we've got air blast? That's right, we have air blast on the machine, but we also use the machine for finished steel milling as well. So we have oil mist, and we also have the ability to uh, finish mill or rough mill aluminium dry using a special ATS aerosol. And I know the machine's fully enclosed, why is that? So this stops the graphite dust from penetrating into the machine tool casting and into vital components such as the drive systems and slideways. So by having the slideways and, and drive systems all up in the upper head with the exhaust system at the bottom, we suck all the dust out of the bottom of the machine, but all, also by keeping everything sealed, such as the laser and tool changer, etc., we protect the long life of the, of the machine tool. You've already touched on the controls slightly, but what have we got on this machine? So what we're offering here is the Heinenheim 530 control. Um, it, the hardware is all ready for the 640, which will go into production very, very soon. When we look at the 530, a lot of work has gone in over the last year and a half to bring that up to what we, we would consider to be a true high-speed control. And with all the OPS Ingersoll products, we've got more automation again. Yes, that's right. We can add the multi-change light and multi-change performance systems, which is the 70 electrode or uh, 10 workpiece uh, uh, pallet system. But a lot of companies, they start with what we call the easy system, which is a 40 electro changer magazine or a five UPC pallet changing magazine. And I know APS Ingersoll, they talk a lot about precision. How accurate is this machine? So typically in the past, we've seen uh, accuracy on electrodes, two, three, four microns. And then when we're talking about optics, then we're talking maybe one, two, three microns with a very high surface finish capability. So who's typically buying these machines and what components are they manufacturing? So typically, uh, your you first instinct is to talk about the mold maker, who's finished steel milling, uh, milling of graphite electrodes, copper electrodes, but it's also widely used in the dental market for dental implants, aerospace components, and uh, small production parts. And finally, just putting you on the spot, if you had to give me three things about this machine, the best things, what would they be? So I think when you're looking to buy a true high-speed mill like this, you're looking to buy uh, a machine with a very high dynamic, good surface finish and accuracy performance, and fantastic opportunities for automation.